Hello everyone, welcome back to Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to start another topic, which is file handling, to see how we can handle different types of files in Python. Today I'm going to start with JSON files to see how we can read JSON files so that we can get the data out from the JSON files and then we can utilize that data into our framework. We can keep our test data in JSON files or we might keep our framework configuration data. So in both cases, we need to read those information from the JSON file and then based on the values coming from the JSON files, we can pass those values to the desired methods to perform the further operations. Let's say for an example, I have this JSON file with me, class details.json file. And this file contains class details, let's say class name, and the value is 10. Then it contains the room number of the class, which is 46B. And then it contains the student's data. Here we can have multiple students in a class. Let's say the name of the first student is David. His role number is 4523. And these are the subjects which David has. Then another student is Akash. His role number is this. And then his subjects are physics and computer. Similarly, we have another student with name Shelly. Her role number is 3556 and her subjects are history and computers. So in similar fashion, we can have JSON files, which contains different sets of data and which can contain nested JSON as well as we have in this example. So we are going to see how we can read all that information in Python. And for that, let me move to this file. To handle JSON files in Python is very easy. It's easy to read all that information from the JSON file. Because there is a library called JSON available in Python. So what we need to do is we only need to import that JSON library. This JSON library contains all the methods to perform read, write, JSON parser, and other operations. This is a built-in library available in Python, which helps us to play with our JSON files. Now, first of all, we need to read JSON file to get the file content. And for that, we can type with open and then we have to provide the file name. Here the file I want to read is classdetails.json. So I can provide my file name over here. See it auto populates. This file is placed under the same folder. So I don't need to provide the whole path. But in case if you have a file placed at different location, then you have to provide the full path of that file. Here the first argument is for the file name. And then in the second argument, we have file open mode. Either we want to open the file in read mode or write mode. So R is for read mode. And then let me create a variable as file. Then I'm going to read the file content using the file.read method. With the help of this read method, all the content of the file will be stored into this variable or object. So using this open method, we have read our JSON file. Now we have our file content with us. So the next thing is to parse that information into JSON format. And then we can extract the information using these JSON objects. To parse the content, what we need to do is here, I'm going to create a JSON object. And then let me call the JSON.load method. Then we need to provide the file content into this load method. Now the file content will be parsed using the JSON.load method and will get our JSON object. Using this object, we can get the JSON values by passing the node names. 
let's move to this class details file let's say i want to know the class and room number from the json file so what i can do is here i can type print and then i'm going to print into the console as class name and then i can use the json object where i'm going to pass the node name so this is our object and this is the node name then let's say in the second statement i'm going to print the room number and then using the json object here i can pass the node name which is room number so using the json object this is how we can get the values from a specific node now if i run it okay so we have an error over here at line number 6 at file json dot load method so i have used the load method instead of loads let me correct it and now if i run it you can see that the class name value is 10 and the room number is 46p we have got our json values from the json files now let's say you want the student information then what you can do is i'm going to add another statement for students then using the json object i can get the student note details because this is an array so this will return an array object and we cannot directly print this information into the console so what do we need to do we have to first convert this array into a string so that we can print it into the console and now if i run it here we can see the class name room number and the student details so we got all these student details like this is for david then we have got the information of akash and then the information for shelly now let's say you only want the information for a single student let's say you want only first student details in that case you can specify the index if you want the first student details then you can specify the index as 0 and if you want the second student details then you can specify the index as 1 because this is going to return a json object hence we need to pass it into the string first and now if i run it you can see here it gives the first student details where we got the details only for david and then for the second student we got the details for akash so this is how we can access the details from the json files now let's say that i want to print all the details for all the students which i have in my json string or let's say i want to get all the details of the student and then i want to perform some operations based on the values if the student name is akash exist in my json string then i want to perform some operation based on that in that case we need to traverse to the json or json array object and to traverse we can use a loop to get the content of the required node values so now let me use a loop to traverse to the json array here i'll pass the json node name as student and then let's say i want to print the student name and similarly if i want to print the subject's details then i can pass the subjects here again the subjects contains the array object so we need to convert this first into a string and now if i run it 
you can see that we have got the details. First, we got this student as David and his subjects as physics and maths. Then we got the student name Akash, his subject physics and computer. And then we got the student Shelly and her subjects history and computer. So this way I can traverse to the data which is available in my JSON file. I hope you like this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. Also, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.